Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's daily astrology reading for March 18th, 2024 is the waxing gibbous moody moon in emotional cancer, sextile the planet of innovation in steadfast Taurus. Be your quirky, odd, original self and stay in tune with your emotions. It is always right to take the honoring path. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for March 18th, 2024 is Berkana. Berkana, the letter B, meaning birch goddess. Yes, the tree, birch. Associations, growth, new beginnings, renewal birth and rebirth, spring and fertility. Today's context is that today your focus is on new things. Growth and development energies are in the air, whether it be something brand new or rebirth of something existing. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for March 18th, 2024 is Engagement. Greater, yesterday was wedding. Engagements usually come first. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Congratulations. This card signals pending nuptials, beginning with a romantic engagement. Even if you're not presently in a relationship, the romance angels can see one upon your horizon. This card comes to you as reassurance, specifically so that you'll choose to release any worries about whether you'll get married, because you will. Deep romantic love in which you feel treasured is in the cards for you. The deeper meaning of this card relates to commitment. First, you commit to taking care of yourself. If you establish boundaries about what you will or won't accept in your relationships and in other areas of your life, such as career, home, lifestyle, and so on. Next, you honor your self-commitment by taking decisive action and telling others how you truthfully feel about their behavior. As you commit to yourself, the universe sends you additional experiences of loving commitment, including the promise of marriage. Your daily fairy wisdom oracle card for March 18th, 2024 is Trillium. Card nine, Trillium, self-love. Write yourself a love poem today. Learn to appreciate everything delicate and gentle in your nature. Delve into that tender part of yourself that holds the cosmic parent and child. Go within and find the small child inside who asks for the shelter from life's storms. Wrap your wings around that small one, giving love and comfort. See that child blossom within the unconditional love of the universe into a gentle being of light. Here lies the potential for all things wondrous. Allow yourself the nurturing that will help you bloom into the most that you can become. Too often in life, we see all things that we do not like about ourselves instead of seeing how truly wonderful we are. What a pity. How much further do you think you could go if you were showered with only praise, positive guidance, and support? There is a constant pouring out of these blessings upon you by the Creator. It is your job to accept into your heart and life. Love yourself. Do not forget that your divine birth into this universe. You are a divine spark of that God force. Nothing can take that away from you. 
It is through you that God chooses to express love on the earth plane. You are an expression and part of God. The fairies recognize this in you. They are often perplexed that we as humans so often do not perceive our own divinity, something that comes so naturally to the elemental kingdom. They do wish to help, however, so follow their lead. Feel the natural grace that spirit has put upon this planet. Attune to it. Through nature, we connect to spirit. Feel the love, the peace, and the comfort of divine spirit in all areas of your life. You are never alone. The cosmic parent is always with you. Your chant? Dearest Mother Earth and Father Sky, I am here to receive the love that is rightfully mine as a child of spirit. I bring this love into my heart and I rejoice. I give great gratitude for the pure potentiality that is me. I allow myself to grow and to bloom in your light and your energy. So be it. Your daily starseed oracle card for March 18th, 2024 is Hirath. Hirath, a longing for home, homesick for the stars. Hirath is a Welsh word that's difficult to translate, but it refers to a certain longing or homesickness a yearning for home or a place to which one cannot return. This inexplicable, unshakable longing for home is common in star seeds and old souls. Perhaps you've had it since birth. For some, it's a distant memory of a planet, galaxy, or star system in the universe that their soul remembers and yearns to return to a place that they may have experienced more than earth. For others, it's a longing for the unity of source, a remembering of interconnected oneness. This yearning can lead some star seeds to travel, searching all the corners of the planet to find a physical place that feels more like home. For others, it can manifest as the need to find home in people, communities, and relationships. A journey to find somewhere they truly belong. If you resonate with this yearning for home, but don't really know where home is, you're being invited to remember that your soul chose to be on earth. You're being called to fully commit to embodying your life. You're being reassured that you didn't come here all by yourself. Your soul consciously decided to experience what it's like to be a soul in a human body on this planet at this time. You're being told to anchor all of your presence, your personality, your soul, and your spirit in the here and now, to fully commit to living this life right now, to commit to be to putting two feet completely in. Your star seed soul inquiry is how can you commit more fully to your life? Your Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for March 18th, 2024 is Precognition. Precognition, psychic ability, future vision. The Egyptian princess on this card has developed a profoundly heightened psychic ability. She looks peacefully into the light hovering over her right hand where images of the future reveal themselves. A soft glow emanates from her throat chakra and brow chakra, radiating from beneath her hawk headdress. 
This hawk aids her in reaching higher levels of consciousness. This messenger bird represents expansive psychicism and future vision. This card indicates you are now capable of reaching new heights of intuition and precognitive ability. In fact, you may have already noticed flashes of insights and deeper awareness. And so, trust the information you receive. And let yourself look even deeper into the potential meaning of your future visions. There may be important messages coming your way. These may take the form of guidance about future choices or inspirations about creative, career-related, or personal projects. Remember that your soul vibrates at the level of spirit connection. For this reason, this card may also indicate a potential career involving psychic or intuitive practices. In fact, you may have had such careers in your past lives. Know that your soul is calling you to reconnect. Take time to meditate more so you can peacefully receive. Let yourself trust your growing insight. The spirit world is open to you, ready to reveal your future potential and all that you need to know now. Your affirmation, I am one with the spirit world. Every day, my psychic ability grows. Your daily energy reading for March 18th, 2024 is the astrology is telling you to honor your emotions and be true your true self with others. Barakana says your focus is on growth and development. The Romance Oracle reminds you that you are still committed to something even if you thought you accomplished all that stuff. The fairies are asking you to pour love into yourself. The Starseed Oracle says you feel really homesick for some place that no longer exists. The Priestess of Light Oracle reminds you that you already knew this was going to happen, so roll with it and move as if you are correct based upon your intuition. So your intuition is on a point. You know, honor those emotions because you already know. It's part of your growth and development, and you need to be committed to your own growth and development. Don't be homesick for some place that doesn't exist, for a condition that you haven't lived in or something you've never seen. Uh, you're, you know, you frustrate yourself and you frustrate creator with that. And this morning's Bible study, which reminding, you know, you, the listener, which will include future me, for me, this is two weeks ago. In Bible study, they cover uh, Moses and his uh, statement to God, uh, where he's basically like, what did I do, Lord, to offend you? Did you saddle me with these whiny, crying people? As a reminder that even the best of us get salty when we're frustrated. Even the best of us sometimes feel overburdened by what's in front of us. We're not actually alone. We are supposed to be turning inward to creator to ask for the assistance that we need. Creator, when you seek creator, creator seeks you. As you seek creator, your abilities grow. There is no ability that one person has that some other person can't develop in their own pattern in their own way. We're all gifted with the same kind of abilities because all of us are constructed of the same kind of materials. Human beings or any, you know, being in, you know, the same species have a similar structure to their DNA molecules, or they would be a different species from what you are. So one of those things is our intuition. The more we get in alignment with divine source, the more abilities and intuition and insights come our way. The more noise you will hear as well. So you need to keep pouring into you so that you're sure that whatever you're hearing 
is a message between you and creator. It's, he's never going to tell you to move real fast if it's something, actually, if it's anything that he really wants you to do. He will tell you when it's time to move. And so you shall move. And that's a day to day. He will tell you of the big things that come in advance because he has a plan and he wants you to not feel nervous about the sudden things he might do, the sudden changes he might make to bring things in alignment. But sudden changes are for him. It's an ineffable plan because we can't necessarily see the path forward, but it's a plan. He gives unconditional love. So he wants unconditional trust. Be your true self, pour into yourself and continue to reconnect with creator and you will be given the information you need to move forward and it will come in the form of intuition. If you're not going to trust that intuition, you're denying listening to some part of creator. That is how he speaks to us. So be paying attention because he's guiding you to work on you so that you can hear him better. My will to thy will. Yes, angel, no, demon.